it's over, right, Steve? 54? <laughs> 84? Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm uh, reading from 1 Peter. It's what uh, Bill dictated, I mean, asked me to read. This morning. <laughs> Chapter 1, beginning in verse 8. It's kind of interesting. Uh, last few years, this has really been a curious, not a curious passage, but kind of an enlightening, informative passage. Uh, where the prophets, it, it, it references the prophets as they were writing these things down, asking who they were about and when it was going to happen. And I found that interesting. But let me read it, and maybe I'll talk a little bit more as we go through it. And though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not see him now, but believe in him, you greatly rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory. Do you? Do we? greatly rejoice? Do we have joy inexpressible because we know him? Because we have something waiting for us? It's a question to ask. And what does that joy look like? What, what does it mean to each one of us? Obtaining as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. There's the source. As to this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that would come to you made careful searches and inquiries seeking to know what person or time the Spirit of Christ within them was indicating as he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the glories to follow. It's the Spirit of Christ telling them about the suffering of the Christ. But they didn't know. They didn't put it together you know, quite, quite the way we can with the benefit of hindsight. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you in these things which now have been announced to you through those who preach the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. The same Holy Spirit that told them and told them it really isn't any of your business because it's not about you. It's about, it's about us. Peter was writing to the churches in Asia Minor, but he's also writing to us. And so what these prophets were wondering about was for our benefit and they were serving us. And that was the message. You're here serving the Lord and you're serving these people. And I think that's our message too. One of service. Let's pray. 